back. My name is Blake here. I'm Ella True. And I'm Ella Hopkins. And well, everybody, please rise for a moment of silence. <laughs> And now Blake will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. All right, everyone, this is going to be a nice, warm week. The weather is going to warm up to the low 80s before a front arrives on Friday, bringing with it higher chances of rain. It is humid outside, guys. It is. It Very is. foggy. So be, foggy be sure inside. that you're careful when you're driving. Yes. Yes. It is wet in the air, and attendance recovery is also in the air. <laughs> um, yeah, you got to do your attendance recovery. <laughs> it's scheduled for Good December transition. 10th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And the attendance recovery deadline is also extended from December 8th to December 16th. December 16th is an early release day, but students will be able to recover one last time before the holiday break that day from 7.25 to 7.55 in the morning and from 1 to 2 p.m. after school. And NHS is holding a canned food drive from November 28th through December 15th. All donations go toward our local Sacred Heart Church Food Bank. You can drop off donations at Coach Guzman's classroom, which is room 13. And for 10 cans, you can earn one community service hour if you are in NHS. So that's important to note, as all hours for this semester are due by the 15th. So if you're behind on hours, this is a great opportunity. And for finals. They're going to be next week, that is December 12th through the 16th. The schedule has been sent to your parents, but if you haven't gotten a chance to hear it yet, here it is. Monday and Tuesday are gonna be elective science and ELA. Wednesday and Thursday are gonna be social studies and math. And Friday is going to be makeups and corrections. Uh, Friday will also be an early release day, but you will go to all eight periods. And that Friday is a uh, half day because Christmas is coming up and to celebrate the Christmas spirit here at SHS, the high school is hosting dress up days for the 12 days of Christmas. They are as follows. Wednesday is a holiday topper, wear your favorite holiday headband, hat, or tree topper. Thursday is fleece Navidad, wear your favorite plaid or flannel shirt. And this Friday is going to be funky Friday, wear your wackiest Christmas sweater and shirt. Yep, and Lady Pirate Basketball plays at Odom today and goes to Skidmore on Friday, not George West, so there's that. And the boys play Tuesday and they host Cal Allen and they play in the GP tournament next Thursday and Saturday. Okay. Well, FCA, which is Fellowship of Christian Athletes, will have a former New York Mets pitcher, Ricky Sparks, speak at this Friday's meeting. So be there at 7.30 in Coach Lobby Club. And speaking of speaking, we have some great speakers here at SHS, including Junior Ben Herrera. Um, we have caught up with him in an interview, and it was about Ben's speech to the VFW on why veterans are important to him, and that has advanced to the state level. We'll cut to him now so that he can tell us all about it. As we're here with Ben Herrera today, Junior, uh, he submitted a speech to the VFW. Um, yes. Uh, VFW actually stands for Veteran of Foreign Wars, um, and so Ben here has wrote an essay um, that he has passed on and is now advancing to a higher level that is going to be graded at. Um, ben, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, the essay and speech is actually about the importance of veterans to me or to a community. Honestly, that prompt stuck with me because my uncle's a veteran. He served back, I'd like to say, in Desert Storm as a Marine. And I feel veterans are very important people to us because we don't know what they've been through, but they stuck up for us in times that we really needed them, in times of chaos that we needed some form of safety as a country and as a whole. I personally am surprised that I did as well as I did on this speech because I was out sick that week. The speech basically went over how we should thank our veterans and how we should always make them feel safe or as if we truly acknowledge how they felt. We shouldn't just give them a uh, thank you, show actual support for them. 
show by donating money to VFW or supporting them with whatever things they go through with life and things that they find as hobbies or to pass their time being civilians now and how they struggle with coming back from war, especially if they served at a younger age. Wow, wow that was very powerful. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. And so what does this mean for you as far as you've gone? Well, my paper finally advanced in the state. It's just a lot of sitting and waiting, but I'm glad that I made it as far as I did because it gives me a higher chance to get into a better college being that it gives me scholarship money and if I make top 10 I'm fairly sure I get around 30,000. Wow 30,000 wow that is awesome. Well Ben we wish you the best of luck and we really hope you do good at state and bring back that 30k for you and your college. Thank you thank you. Yep. Go Pirates. Go Pirates. And we're back. We're back. Yes, we are. <laughs> ah! I have trivia today. Flip the present all the way upside down. Today's trivia is... What two countries have been the only countries to never miss a modern-day Olympic Games? The United America States and Japan and China. It's definitely not the United States, because we boycotted 1980. the Russian? Oh, I forgot we about that. The Russia Man and Japan. No. Russia did not compete this past year. <laughs> they were banned from this past year's <laughs> Olympics. Um, Germany? No. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Who started the Olympics? Greece. Greece. And Japan. China. Australia. Greece and Australia. Interesting. I did not know Greece started the Olympics. Which makes sense. Athens. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. When did Athens host the last Olympic Games? Like 2000? 2004? Somewhere. We so should go stupid. back there. I'm so stupid. Did you think it was there every year or something? Nope. I didn't think Athens was so real. Oh, she didn't think Athens was real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, with that, we'll provide some more insight through our thought of the day. Today's thought of the day needs no further explanation. Each day you wish away is a day you can't gain back. Who said that? So as always, I'm pretty sure it says grain. As always, it does say grain on the paper, but I'm pretty sure it does mean gain. <laughs> Every day you wish grain. away is a day you can't grain back. <laughs> it, it surely does not mean grain. Make the most out of today. As always, Ooh. we hope to see you back tomorrow. And of course, go Pirates. Go Pirates.